Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be walking you through the signup process and the installation process of the MotiveWave trading platform. Now, a quick disclaimer, this video is going to assume that you are coming from the Optimus Futures website. We do provide you with a bit of a specific process to this demo. So if you haven't already, or you're just interested in trying out this demo, feel free to follow the same process as I do. Now, for those of you that have already signed up, you can just skip this step. For those of you that are interested in trying out MotiveWave, you can come to OptimusFutures.com, check out our platform page, and then simply click on try a free demo under MotiveWave. Once you have everything out, filled out, click on the try MotiveWave button. You'll probably need to fill out this CAPTCHA image right here. Once you have verified your CAPTCHA, it will submit the um, form for you and it'll bring you to the thank you page. Now, please keep in mind, this isn't the end of the process yet. If you would like to demo the rhythmic data feed, which is essentially needed when demoing the platform, especially for futures, you'll need to fill out this next form. This will submit the form to rhythmic and they will provide you with the rhythmic data feed. So now that that is taken out of the way and once you've filled out everything and click the activate data feed button, you should head over to your email and you should expect to receive two emails. One from the Optim Optimus Futures team, it will look like this. And then there is a second email, an activation email here for Rhythmic. So that being said, first up, I suggest for you to download the platform. Now there are two versions for those of you Mac users, we do have a Mac download link. And for the Windows users, we have a downloadable Windows version. You can simply click on these links and the download will automatically download for you. So once you have that taken care of, we can head over back to the Rhythmic email. You'll notice if you do click on this link right here, it'll activate your Rhythmic ID and it'll bring you to this page here. All you'll need to do is sign in right here and then once you sign in, it'll ask you to accept two terms of agreements. Once you do, your Rhythmic account will become active and then you can actually use and access the Rhythmic data feed. As you'll see here, it will tell you that on your status bar, it, you have agreed and self-certified to both. So once you see this, you can proceed. So now that your download should probably be about done, you've activated your Rhythmic data feed, we can begin to launch the platform. We can open up the executable file that occurs when you start to download and you'll probably be brought to the screen here. Now it may ask you for a license key and it should ask you for a license key. To do this, just simply click on the link that it provides you with. This will bring you over to MotiveWave website. Simply just put in your email address and a password there and it will directly provide you with a license key directly right there. Now you probably will automatically have to enter it in. It should automatically pop up. If not, you can come to options and kick, click on license. If you click on license, you can input your license key there and it will activate your 14 day trial. It will tell you how long you have on that trial. So keep that in mind. Now from there, we'll need to select a workspace. If it doesn't prompt you to add your own workspace, you can click on the options button right here and then click on workspace. This is pretty much just the workspace you'll be messing around in. You'll be trading in paper trading with the rhythmic data feed on motive wave. So you can name this whatever you want. This is a completely customizable environment here. So we can name this whatever we like. We can name this demo environment and then you need to save it to a location. Of course, if you are using motive wave on a laptop or you're taking it to different computers, you have it installed on multiple devices. You're probably going to want to save it on the cloud. That way you can open it up from any location and it'll be directly saved on your license key. Otherwise you can save it on your local disk if you only plan on using one computer. Once you have your demo environment saved, we'll need to add a connection. From here, we can name this again, whatever we like. We can name this rhythmic demo. So when we do go live, we know the difference in between the two. Now there are quite a few different options in this select service bar here. Being that we are providing you with a rhythmic data feed, you'll want to scroll down and find Optimus Trading Group and select Rhythmic. This is specific, so please choose our Optimus Trading Group Rhythmic Connection. Now from here, you'll need to type in the username that was provided to you. This is more than likely going to be your email address that you signed up with on Rhythmic. If you'll notice, if you click on the activation email, we'll see here. See, this is my user ID that I'm highlighting. It is a orange font. So if you're not sure what your Rhythmic user ID is, it should be the email address that you registered with on our signup page. The password was also selected by you. So please keep that in mind. 
So heading back over to MotiveWave now, we'll just need to enter in that email address, the, the one we signed up with. And once you do, you'll be able to enter in a password. I'm gonna enter mine in and I will be back with you in just one second. Okay, so I've entered in my email address now. Now what we'll need to do is we'll select paper trading, we'll keep this as it is. If you are following this installation process and you are a live trader, you'll need to select the live. There's two different servers, the paper trading server and live. So you'll need to differ differentiate between the two, but it's more than likely that you'll know which one you need. So that being said, once we have our email address entered in, our rhythmic username, and then we have our connection selected, we'll just click on test connection. This will prompt you for a password. So I already have mine pasted down, I know what it is. So I'll input that in and then we'll click on connect. Now it may take a second to verify, but once it is done, you'll see you get a connection was successful box. Once it is successful and it is confirmed, you can click add connection on the bottom here. As you can see, we have our rhythmic demo service, we have our demo environment. So now we can click on create workspace. It'll take a second to load. And as you can see, everything was successful. So now we have our workspaces here. If we want, we can add more. If we have different connections, we can ignore this for now. So I suggest clicking on close. From the drop down menu, you'll now need to select your environment. So of course, this is our demo environment, the one we just created. If you have multiple data feeds or you wanna create different environments for either different users, maybe using the same platform on your machine, whatever the case may be, select the one you just created. Once you have it selected and it shows up in this box here, click on continue. It may take a second to load for the first time. Once it does, it will prompt you one more time for your rhythmic username, which should be the email that you registered with, as well as your password. Again, you'll need to select the paper trading server if you are a demo or a live server if you are a live user. If you'd like, you can click remember password that you way you don't need to input it every time. Once you have checked everything out and filled everything out, click on connect. And after a second, it should connect to your data feed and you'll notice our platform opens up. This is our demo environment, the one we just created, and this is the MotiveWave platform. So that about covers it for the installation process and how to sign up through Optimus Futures and Rhythmic. That will cover for this video. If you do have any questions about particular features or any requests, please post them in the comment section below and we'd love to accommodate you. If you have any requests or comments, concerns, you can post them on our community forum as well. That's also linked in the description. So feel free to follow that link, sign up for an account. It takes five minutes and you can be begin to ask all your questions there. Once again, and as always, if you did like the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos such as Motive Wave, other platforms, psychology. We have a ton of different videos and a ton of different playlists available for you to check out. And once again, thanks for watching and we hope you found this helpful.